<laughs> How's everybody doing? Okay, we just did Cancer, we did um, Pisces, and now we are going to do Fixed Water. Oh, feel my altar. I want to make sure I don't knock it, you know, knock all my candles there. Try to fix this up a bit. Okay, alrighty. Okay, uh, we are now going to talk about Scorpio. Scorpio, fixed water. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, here we are. Uh, here we are, the people's astrologer. You know, I have also uh, a website. I think I many of you know it's www.thepeoplesastrologer.com, and I have a lot of, you know, interesting goodies there, and I talk about other stuff, you know, other mysteries, if, you, if I can call it. Okay, the Scorpio woman. The Scorpio woman r represents its total mystery. It's total mystery, but it's not the kind of mystery that's romantic mystery, like Miss Cancer, or fantasy mystery, blissful, like Miss Pisces. No, this type of water is like Lake Erie. Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, you know, which borders Canada and upstate New York and, you know, most of New York State and, of course, Michigan, pop, pop, pop. Okay. Now, you know that these lakes are huge. They're huge and they behave like an ocean. You have all kinds of sunken vessels in these lakes from World War II, World War I. Also, ships that have mysteriously disappeared or have been struck by rogue waves. That's how big Lake Erie is. It can have a rogue wave destroy a ship just like the powers of the ocean. Now, the thing is that, you know, the earth is rotating and there's all kinds of powerful currents and seismic activity going on in our ocean floors constantly. And that explains why you have rogue waves that appear out of nowhere. But this type of uh, ocean, uh, oceanography and, and the, uh, um, the atmospheric sciences, they all agree and attest that um, there is an explanation for why these rogue waves and other mysteries of the oceans of the sea exist. So technically, when you deal with a lake, or an aquifer, or some kind of fixed water, you're not gonna have the same oceanag oceanography, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm corrupting the word. You're not gonna have the same principles operating the lakes like you do the ocean, is what I'm trying to say. The lake is more contained, and because it's more contained, you would think that it can be predictable. Well, that's not really true with lakes and the predictability that people think they have on Scorpio is also a total falsity. The reality is that we don't know more about the lakes than we do the oceans. And I don't think we have even been able to go deep down within the surface of the lake and not experience the same problems that someone would as a diver in an open ocean. So the lake can be quite a frightening place. But fixed water doesn't always have to come in liquid form. You could have um, quicksand. Have you ever stepped into quicksand? And the thing about quicksand is that you don't know it's quicksand until you're in it. And it's terrifying. I mean, I don't know. You know thank God I never had that kind of experience. Maybe in this, I'm, I might have had it in a past life, but not in this life. But quicksand, and the more you try to get out, the more it sinks you in. The more it sinks you in. And, and, and so you, you almost can't even breathe because the movement of your thoracic cavity is enough to continue to, to, to be sunk in. And even if you get stuck and you, get, and you don't go in and you, and you stop midway, you think you're out in the clear. At least you're not gonna drown in quicksand. No, but you'll get stuck there, you won't be able to get out. 
So you could be last, you could be there for days. The, the animals will eat you alive. You would rather have sunken than to get stuck midway, not find a way to get out, and then get eaten alive by predatory animals. Because you're not going to find um, quick science in club meth. No. Well, the same psychology we can ascribe to the Scorpio woman. The Scorpio woman has a magnetic beauty that is absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. She has a way to look at you. I mean, her stare is supernatural and supernaturally terrifying. You can, especially if she's attracted to you. She has a certain look, unlike any other woman. And I'm gonna tell you, when a woman looks at you and she's letting you know that she's attracted to you, there's a certain energy that comes out of a woman's eyes when she looks at a man and she's attracted to him. But the kind of energy that comes out of a Scorpio woman's vibration, her eyes when she looks at you, it is frightening. Because it's almost like it's not her looking at you, but something else or someone else. You know, she's very confident. Confident, capable, and proud. But, you know, with all this vibrato and all this capability and this superhuman inner strength that just silently oozes out of her, and then that stare. You would think that a woman packing like that with, with all those arsenals in her bag, that she has the world on her feet, that she will have no regrets and no secret wants. Guess what? Not true. She does have a secret desire, a desire that she regrets. She'll curse, she'll curse God because she don't have it. And you know what that is? She regrets not being born a man. That's the only thing she feels cheated out of. She feels that if she, was, if she would have been born a man, she would be on top of the world. Her fight won't have to be so creative. That's her uh, big regret. Scorpio women don't like other women. The Scorpio woman doesn't have to dress sexy to get to get a man. Her voice is her death trap. Her voice. Now, why doesn't she like other women? Why she doesn't... Be, because the power is not, power is not in the woman, according to Miss Scorpio. It's in the man. So that's, that's going to be her target. That's going to be her primary focus. It's not going to be other women. It's a waste of time for her. Now, be careful, you men. And with some women, but especially men. Don't flirt with this woman. She's an x-ray machine. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? She's a, she has x-ray eyes. She's an x-ray machine. She's, she has x-ray eyes, but, she, but she's an x-ray machine. She will pick up immediately and see right through your intentions. Be careful. You have to be able to fit the bill if you're going to flirt with this woman. Most likely, she's not flirting with you back. She's very sexual. So, unless you mean it, don't mess with her. Don't waste her time because she will get very insulted. Very insulted. Very insulted, and you don't really want to make an enemy out of her and then disrespect you as a man. So unless you are willing to jump in the sack and get, get down to business, 
don't even look her way because she usually don't got time to waste. Now, like Capricorn, here we are talking about Capricorn again because you know that's called you know that's the Earth Queen. No, she's never wishy washy. Capricorn women or Scorpio women, these women are not wishy washy about anything. These women are serious. They are serious from the very beginning. In fact, too serious. So serious that it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Ooh, we have a heat wave. We have a heat wave. You know, it's, it's like 93 degrees in New York City. Um, you know, these lights. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It gets better. But the Scorpio woman is a natural witch. They say Pisces is mystical and magical. And she is. So is Miss Cancer. But the witch, like the witches of Eastwick, I might be revealing my age here. Millennials are not going to know this. But Samantha, the, the, the teenage witch, well, not even. How can I put the, the witches, the, the witches garden? No, not even. Charmed? 